today I will be creating this alien animation I shared earlier in my previous post. This video will be in the top right corner somewhere if you want to see the full animation. So we are going to begin now. I have my After Effects opened. We are going to create a new composition. I'm going to start with 864 by 480. And uh, I'm going to use the frame rate of 24 frames. Uh, resolution doesn't really play a role because we'll be exporting in the forum. Duration will be 2 minutes. Once we have our composition created, the next thing we need to do is to use the plugin. So this is a follow up to my previous video after installing the plugin AE to SD from Motion Bro. Please take the time to watch the tutorial since we will be making use of the plugin. To use the plugin, we go to Window, Extension, Motion Pro. So to start animating, we are going to use our Create tab and we go to Scene and we are going for a 3D scene and we'll click Apply. So once everything is loaded down here, uh, I can I can just stop this. Uh, for now, we just need to be working on the animation. So I'm just going to put this uh, all the way out here. The only layers we need are the camera and the prompts layers. Those are the only requirements we need to be working with in After Effects. So I'm going to click this icon here, which is the shy layer. Uh, you can see the shy layer is activated once these icons are on. Up here, we also see the display of um, everything we are about to animate. This is our prompt as a placeholder. And uh, from our camera, if I, if I toggle this down, I'm going to be working with rotation Z which is my favorite with the rotation and uh, also the Z position. And uh, lastly, I think we'll do something with the Y rotation. So first of all, let's start with the Z rotation and I'm going to put a keyframe here. I want to be animating this in not five seconds, not 10 seconds, but in 15 seconds. From zero, I'm going to spin this around to 90. We have our preview here from zero to 90. I'll go to 30 seconds and at 30 seconds I'm gonna bring this back to zero so I can I can enter zero here I can just copy this keyframe uh, push it here to zero so it goes it spins and then it spins back again we are animating all the way to two minutes which is our duration we want to have in the forum this is a two minutes animated video so uh, from 30 we have it at zero and now um, I'll go to 45 seconds again. So usually what I do is I also use this trick just to um, get in and out of the timeline, just to keep a balanced interval between the animations. And uh, it's also quicker just to place in the keyframe. So from here at 45, I'm gonna go back to 90. I'm gonna copy this and paste this. And then I'm going to use the same trick uh, to keep the same interval and in animation. So from here, I can also you can also stretch it. You can also you know make it shorter. It depends up to you uh, to what you really want. So at one minute fifteen seconds, we still keep it at ninety. This means at this position, nothing is going to be happening. Right? It means uh, it spins by here. 90 90 means it's on hold right so there is no animation actually happening here so we move on from um this here and we go to one minute 30 seconds one minute 30 seconds so we come back to keep the interval we had here we go to one minute 30 seconds uh which is sorry which is from here to here so we are still on hold which is 90 so okay let's take it back to zero so um from 130 which is spinning here okay we'll go for the last camera rotation we we'll come for 145 145 we'll take it back to 90 again and our last one will be back to zero so you guys can see what we have with the animated camera in rotation z i forgot to rename the composition which uh in our camera we move to the next rotation which will be the z position which is actually the zoom position so 
I would put in my settings quickly. I'll be back once everything is in here. Okay, so we finally have our Z position keyframes here in After Effects on the camera. Just a breakdown of what's happening here. So it's zooming out whilst it's still rotating and uh, it's staying there for a while. It's also zooming back in and um, yeah, it's also still rotating. You know, it's zooming out again. You know, we hold for a while and then we zoom out again. So basically, that's the whole idea behind uh, Z position. I have this keyframes easy east. So this keyframes easy ease basically just makes everything um, easy in and ease out uh, once slowly starts and slowly um, coming to a pause. And I'm going to do the same thing to Z rotation here. Also apply an easy ease. Our last animation to focus on is rotation Y. I'm going to animate rotation Y in 30 seconds intervals. So frame zero, we have it at zero frame from 30, at 30 seconds, which you see here, 30 seconds. When I come to 30 seconds here, I'm gonna take it to 90. So I'll set the in and out point for us to see what we have here. So we can see it's rotating rotation y it's moving to the side right? rotation x means it's moving up in the 3d direction and rotation y means it's moving either left or right also rotation z like we did before is spinning so it's either going in a circular right or in a circular anti-clockwise so we have the camera zooming out which is the z position y moving to the left and also z position which is also rotating so basically, um, that's what we have so far running through the whole two minutes. So if we come back to the panel here, and uh, if we go to the reference layer, which um, I described earlier as your prompt, if we go to apply, it's going to create a new prompt here, right? So anywhere you feel like having a new prompt, you put this reference here. And once we are ready to put in our prompt, we can always double click and we type in whatever we want to type here. So it's usually a reference to um, place your layer in a 3D environment to see how everything works. We should come here also and place another reference. There you go. So we have three prompts for our animation and if we should preview what we have so far. And we can see um, prompt one is zooming out, uh, still rotating, moving to the left. And um, yeah, it's still rotating. And prompt two is about to show up now, which shows up here. And also still in a 3D environment, also following and obeying the camera direction like we animated. So prompt three will be coming up very soon, which we have here. And you can see prompt three just comes in from wherever, you know, following the camera animation. So these are the benefits of using uh, this plugin. It just gives you a visual direction of whatever you are doing in the forum. So the next thing at this point we can always do is uh, we can always insert our prompt. But I would suggest uh, not to put in the prompt now. And uh, the next big question is how do we get all of this into stable diffusion? Right? Um, we're going to come back to the tab, which is Motion Pro. Uh, I'm going to adopt this. If I close this down and if we go to Copy Data, now this tab shows us everything we need to move from After Effects into the forum stable diffusion. This first step is saying 2D. We started with the 3D composition. So basically we don't need anything here. So if we come to 3D properties, this tab here makes it easy for us to see what we have animated. Same way here, if I come to my layer and I click U, it's only going to display the properties I animated on this camera. It's the same way if I click info, this is going to tell us everything we've animated. So you can see here we have the uh, translation Z, rotation 3D Y, and our rotation 3D Z. So once again, I explained this in the initial tutorial. So if this is also the first time seeing this video, I would recommend uh, watching the installation guide. Once we are in the 3D properties, when I click Translation Z, I'm going to have all these keyframes available to me uh, for me to only have to copy and paste into Stable Diffusion because I've already done all the hard work here. We'll quickly go to Stable Diffusion now. 
so once we are in stable diffusion what i usually do is before i copy all my animation keyframes from after effects and I'm, I'm eager to start generating and animating i make sure i have the right checkpoint which is the ai model to use and also i look for the style i want this animation to be in today i'll be using deliberate and a good place to find a good prompt to work with or your style is to use uh, leonardo or also lexica but usually i'm a big fan of uh, lexica you can also do the same thing in um, leonardo ai so if we should take any of these examples here uh, let's see this is cool we just copy the prompt to see the theme we want to use and i will just paste it here if it has a negative prompt usually you can also copy the negative prompt and uh, you put in a negative prompt so this is just an example of how my workflow is I try to look for a theme before I start animating. So from here, I come here with a sampler. I will use the first one, which is a Eula A. And uh, steps here, we just push it a bit to like maybe 35. And I uh, will keep this at one by one because we are only using this as a preview. Like so, we hit generate. And this is this is really really cool actually. So you you usually need to also update this. Not to use the same exact thing you copied, but uh, you can add your touch to it, astronaut. I'm not sure if that's the right spelling for astronaut, but once we have it here, we'll generate. We are using the style for our subject. This is what I do to find my style and my theme. And once I am happy with this style, I just copy the prompt here. I come up with different titles. I mean, I come up with different subjects using the style. Spaceship. Once you modify this style with your subject, all you need to do is to copy this and uh, you go back to After Effects, right? Now you can have your prompt pasted here. You have your prompt one. So if you have a different prompt like we used before, uh, let's use a UFO. UFO, let's see what we get. So if you're happy with the UFO, what you do, you also copy this. And now uh, you go back to After Effects and uh, what happens here, you paste it here into your prompt, right? And now uh, you click OK. So we have the third prompt here. Astronaut. Generate. We have another astronaut, right? So we copy this, we we'll take it to After Effects, uh, double click here. And what we do, yeah, we paste it here. You can always shift your prompt. You can always shift your prompt. Imagine if you had to do this in the forum, right? You have to re-enter. If we go back to the forum, and usually what happens with the forum and our prompt is you have to change the timing and uh, the time frame you want it to appear in. If it's 120, 200, you always have to, you don't even know how it's gonna appear, but you just have to guess to break it down to see if it works. But with the plugin, you can move this anywhere closer, you know, you can delete and uh, you can just adjust them in a balanced way to how you want everything to appear. So once you're happy with your style, from here we can start our animation settings for export. Once we go to the forum and we come to run, from here we are running through all these tabs. We are using the same checkpoint here. Now we can go back into After Effects and we have to copy the same composition settings from After Effects. If we come to our After Effects now, we go here, Composition Settings. We are using the width of 864 by 480. So if I come back here, 864. Our frame rate is 24 and also our duration is 2 minutes. So we don't have that here, but I'm sure it's going to come up in any of the tabs. So what's the next thing we can fill up here? Okay, probably we can increase our steps to 35. And also the seed is just to make it simple to understand. Never leave your seed at negative one. Always make sure you have a number in here. If it's one, 200 or any seed. So why do I say that? You can always revisit your project if you have the same seed. But if you have your seed at negative one, it keeps changing and you don't have a specific look you can always reference back to. So that's a basic way I can explain it. Or maybe there can be a tutorial later to understand seeds. 
if anyone might be interested i would be glad to know in the comments below and also about the checkpoints and ai models i'm uh, moving on we have our seed we have our steps we have our width and height the batch name is actually where we want to export our video it's going to export to drive c ai outputs image here so these are some of the projects i have worked on so if i come back here you guys are gonna see this is the animation actually that was exported earlier on so i renamed mine to alien and to our next tab is the keyframes so under keyframes we have the options of 2d 3d we're working with 3d so i'll select 3d and uh cadence usually one border i'll go for wrap max frames is the duration or if we come here composition two minutes so how do we get these two minutes into frames so this is a very helpful page um, which i'll include in the description it actually converts your time code into frames so if we were animating at 24 frames and the time code is two minutes we put two minutes here right so we're going to copy this and just paste this here that's all next thing we need to do is to now fill in our camera animations which is the heart of the forum if we come back to after effects back to our plugin like we were about to copy our keyframes earlier on all we need to do is uh, go into the copy data 3d properties z position we have z translation here which is the same thing if we click on that and we're going to have all our keyframes copy this take it back to the forum and uh, translation z this thing here i explained this once again in the previous tutorial installation guide which um, anyone can revisit if they still want an in-depth understanding we go back to after effects uh, we have the y rotation this is the y rotation click here copy we come back to the forum we place this here we go back our last rotation is the z rotation this is quite a lot i copy ctrl c come to stable diffusion z rotation ctrl v to paste we have our 3d mode we have our cadence uh, duration set everything is good i don't touch any of these i'm still learning a few things here and there so i always keep these at the default back under the forum now we go for the prompt right so this is the default prompt in in the forum but remember we already had our prompt here so once we are here, um, how do we find our prompt, which is this, this, and this, right? So we come here in the plugin panel, prompts by markers. When we click here, we control C, uh, we come here, we select all this, uh, we delete backspace, and let's paste it here, control V. But the prompt I used for the actual animation that was created, I already had a prompt prepared, and uh, it was just one prompt, actually. You can always delete your prompt layer. You can always delete your prompt layer in After Effects. So if you have just one prompt, you can always just copy that one prompt uh, into the forum. But that was that was just an example for you guys to know you can have multiple prompts. So if you still come here, prompt by markers, it's just gonna copy one prompt for you. All right, you copy, you go back to stable diffusion and uh, you paste in one prompt. Right, which is still gonna work. So my prompt and my theme and style I had was a 3D alien. But I just canceled this and I just pasted this here. Right, so that was the prompt I used. Also some negative um, prompts will come in later. We have just one prompt running for two minutes, which is also possible. Next is the init, uh, control and hybrid video, also default on the output. Back here, if we go to our composition settings, we see our frame rate is 24. So we come back to stable diffusion. We need to make sure it matches to After Effects. So we put this at 24. Make sure you save your project so you can always revisit it. There was also a tutorial I made explaining how to find your saved project in the forum. The link will be probably in the top right corner. And once we are done here and we hit generate, to protect your files after putting in so much work, you can watch the video guide on the left of your screen so you don't lose your files.